Good morning, everyone. My dear students, Grade Eight. This is Mr. Gamal, English Language Arts. Uh, this is a new lesson, Unit Six in Vocab Part in the Workbook, Page Thirty-Eight, Thirty-Nine, and Forty. This is Thirty-Eight. Uh, the title is Modernize the School Calendar. As I told you before, this reading is not for comprehension, to answer questions in it or so, but only to understand, to try to guess the meaning of this vocabulary, in particular the bold typed words. All right, let's see this word for example. Uh, should the school day be longer? Should administrators lengthen the school year? Some people would answer both questions with no, insisting that students already work insistently during the day. All right, so insistently can mean what? It is related to the school day be longer. And they said no, because students work insistently during the day. So insistently can mean what? For longer time? Yes. Non-stop? Yes. All right, all this correct. Another word. Uh, take this word, credible, all right? Those contentions are lucid and credible. Anyone can see that. Credible, if you divide the word into syllables, you'll find the B's word, credit, or cred. If you know the, uh, you know the word, that, the common word, credit card, a card that you trust. So it is related to trusting, or believe, or so. So credible can be like believable, all right? Another. We are on the same page, 38, or uh, come to 39. All right, this can do the job. This is 39, yes. Uh, look at this word, tenacious and superfluous. Let's read the sentence. Um, the belief in adherence to the 180-day school year retains its tenacious hold on the thinking of many educators. Tenacious hold of the thinking of many educators or teachers. So tenacious can mean what? Strong? Yes, forceful, yes, all right. These apprehensions are superfluous today. Superfluous can be what? It is opposite to tenacious. Can be not strong, yes. Unimportant, yes. Another word, this word diligence. Despite the diligence of our hardworking teachers and the high quality of our educational institutions, all right, the diligence of our hardworking teachers. So diligence, this now related to what? To the hard working so it can be the diligence the hard working or the hard work or the willingness or determination all this can be correct all right now come to the vocab definition page 40 Yes, this is page 40. Uh, you repeat after me and take the first meaning of the word. All right. Memorize and, work and uh, understand. The word is at all. To make up for the sentence, at one time or another, everyone has done something for which he or she needs to atone. Bondage, slavery. Next sentence, many people escaped the cruel bondage of slavery with the help of the underground railroad. Uh, credible? Believable. Do you have a credible explanation for not completing your assignment on time? Defray, to pay for. A sentence, corporate sponsors help to defray or pay for the cost of the charity's annual telethon. Diligent, the word we took. Uh, hard working, 
all right not lazy um, when I say diligent employees are likely to be well rewarded for their dedication and hard work uh, doleful sad a sentence one look at the players doleful faces told me that the team had lost the championship game all right next word ghastly uh, ghastly it's horrible all right horrible some people are almost afraid to go to sleep because they suffer from ghastly recurring recurring nightmares all right next page 40 sorry 41 yes this is the page 41 uh, hamper the word is what hamper to hold back I like to stop to stand in the way or, or so uh, poor grades will hamper you and your effort to get a college education uh, you you to shape or to hold to Let, let's take this word to hold to like to stick fast to even in crisis we must hew to this nation's principles of liberty equality and justice impoverished impoverished uh, see the symbols of the word im power and i s h e d all right what is the bees word power similar to poverty so it's related to poverty or poor state uh, impoverished so it's what poor in a state of poverty all right the sentence after world war the second uh, impoverished european countries received you us aid under the marshall plan all right so they were poor european countries after the united the world war second and so it's helped them uh, all right we'll take this 10 words we'll start with them you memorize you understand uh, study them well all right you can make you can make um, uh, flashcards for these only 10 words all right uh, and uh, your assignment will be to choose five of them and uh, make sentence of your own and send them on my email thank you by tomorrow due time tomorrow thank you